hope you all are great. So in the last video that we have learned about the different components of the food and the balanced diet. In this video, we will discuss about the imbalance in the diet. Basically, there are three main reasons due to a diet can be imbalanced. The first is inadequate food, that means a paryapt bhojan. Second is the lack of components, that means the food which you are taking do not have the proper components in, in that. The last one is the excess of the food, that means the food which you are taking is more than your body required and you are not doing that much of work out to digest that food. Now, inadequate food or the aparyapt bhojan, this lead to undernutrition. This condition is called undernutrition. The lack of the component or the unbalanced food, this is called the unbalanced diet or the unbalanced food. Excess of the food, this condition is the called overnutrition in which you are taking more food than your body requires. And this lead to the obesity. If you are taking more food, this lead to the obesity. Now in today, we, today we are going to discuss these two conditions. The condition which arises due to the undernutrition and unbalanced food is called malnutrition. Due to their different kind of diseases affects our body, absence of the different kind of components in our food. So let's discuss. If we are not taking protein and carbohydrates in our diet, this leads to quashica and the mirasmus. Now, in the Kwashika, the symptoms are like the fraudulent belly, ubrava pig. A child can be anemic, the loss of appetite, um, the dark skin. In the marasmus, the symptoms are poor muscle development, anemic, the loss of appetite, poor lags, weakness in the lags. In the, if you are lacking the uh, vitamins in your diet, this is called to the night blindness. Due to that, uh, your vision could be poor. Uh, Sometimes a person can lose the visibility. Beriberi, which is causes nervousness. Scurvy, this leads to bleeding in your gums. Rickets, then weakness in your bones. If you are lacking the minerals of the diet, like if you are not taking the iron proper in time, it causes anemia. If you are not taking iodine in your diet, this is called to go tree. And if you are not taking proper calcium, which leads to rickets. Now there are one more term which is called PEM, which is protein energy malnutrition. It is used to describe diets which lack protein and carbohydrates. It is used to describe diet which lack protein and carbohydrates. Just diet may protein and carbohydrate nahi hota hai, present nahi hota. This condition is called protein energy malnutrition. This is mostly common in the children, right? So this is the all, so all, this is the chapter all about. And now you will get the worksheet for the same. Thank you.